of children and Hannah was sad Hannah was very sad because every time they go to Shiloh and Elkanah give money to everybody to give their offering but what happened is that she was not happy she was crying she couldn't take it anymore because the pain she was going through because she was barren she couldn't have children was so much that year when they when on verse 7 she, it's, it is written and as he did so year by year when she went up to the house of the Lord so she pro, she provoked her Penina used to provoke her Penina used to say you know what even though our husband love you I am I have children you don't have children and you know how it hurts when you can't have children you know how it is big it is painful when you can't have children and people are making fun of you then on verse 8 Elkanah said then said Elkanah her husband to her Anna why weepest thou and why eatest thou not why thy heart is grieved I'm not better than thee than ten sons so Anna rose up after they have eaten in Shiloh. You know, even though her husband loved her, he gave her everything she wanted, but he couldn't give her children. So she was sad. Her husband was sad. He said, despite the fact that you can give me children, I still love you, Anna. I'm here for you, Hannah. But this couldn't satisfy her heart because she was in pain. He couldn't give her, he couldn't, he couldn't create a baby for her. Baby are given by God, God only. Hannah was sad. She was crying. Her heart was, was messed up. But after her husband spoke to her, she said, okay, I will eat. And she went and she ate. And then what she, she does, what she, what she did next is very important. It's the second part of verse 9. Now Eli, the priest sat upon a seat by the post of the, the temple of the Lord. And she was in bitterness of soul and prayed unto the Lord and wept so and she vowed a vow she was so in pain she couldn't bear the fact that she couldn't have a children some children she couldn't have only a child so she went to the lord she didn't go to make a covenant with a devil because the devil can give children too she went to the Lord. She went to the, into the temple of God. She went to the altar and she poured herself out. She cried. She cried. She said, Lord, help me. Do something. Do something for my situation. I know it hurt. It hurt me. I can't take it anymore. You, you have heard so many times Penina, what she said about me, how she made fun of me, how every year when when that when Mother Day come, how she celebrate and I'm not celebrated. Lord, please remember me. So today I want to tell you, my sister, if you are in the situation of Anna, instead of going to see the priest the, the to do witchcraft to do juju to do whatever but not to go to the lord i i advise you to go to the lord go to 
to your church. I don't care what church you go to, but it's the same Jesus. The same Jesus we are praying to. It's the same Jesus. So, Lord, she went to the Lord and she, she started crying. Lord, do something for my situation. Lord, remember me. Lord, I need you. I want you to make a step into to make hand of my sorrow. I want you to visit me mightily. I just want a baby. Just give me one baby. And before she ended prayer on verse 11, she did something. She vowed a vow and said, Oh Lord of us, if thou will indeed look to the affliction of thine handmaid and remember me and not forgotten thy, thine handmaid, be, but will give unto thine handmaid a man child, then I will give him unto thee. What she did? She made a covenant with God. She made a covenant with God. She promised God, if you give me that baby boy, I ask you, I will give him back to you. Sometimes when we are in trouble, when we need something, and we go to God and we pray, and we God bless us, we forgot. We forget that we promise God that, Lord, if you give me a job, I will give you my first salary. But when that first salary comes, you know what? I have that sneakers I saw to the, into the store to buy. I have this, this, this. I have to pay my bills. And we forget about God. We forget about God. We forget about God. And that's why sometimes we lose the blessing. Because it is a sin when you make a vow to God and... You don't, you refuse to fulfill your part. Because when you say, it's a, like a covenant with God. You say, Lord, if you do this to me, I will do this to you. So the Lord is expecting you to do your part. What happened next? And when, while she was crying, she was crying, she was bitter, she was still by the altar. We read it previously that Eli, the priest of the temple, was sitting. So he saw her uh, uh, mouth mumbling. So she, he, he thought that she was drunk. He thought that she was, she, she was drunk. He, he came to her, woman, why are you drunk? What, what's going on? She said, Lord, my Lord, I'm not drunk. She said, my Lord, I'm not drunk. This is on verse 14. She said, I'm not drunk at all. And she said, she, she opened up to him. He said, she said on verse 15, No, my Lord, I'm a woman of so, a sorrowful spirit. I have drunk neither wine or strong drink, but have poured my, out my heart, my soul, before the Lord. So please, don't count me among the daughter of the devil. I'm a child of God, and I'm coming before the Lord because I know that he has the solution to my problem. I know that if I come to Jesus, to God, to my God, he will, op he will open up the closed door to me. So to, to this morning, I will, this afternoon, I would like to encourage you, if something is going wrong into your life, to go to Jesus. Because it is only him who can do to us what no man can do. It is only him who can open the doors which were closed to us. It is only him who is a miracle working God. And then Eli, then the, Eli said, Go in peace, and the God of Israel grant thee thy petition, thou hast asked him. And she left. And when she left, the Lord visit, visited her. The Lord
Lord bless her because remember she made a covenant with God. She said, Lord, if you give me a baby boy, I will give him to you. And the Lord listened to that because the Lord, the, our Lord wants to make deal with you, us. He likes making deal. We like making deal outside. But the Lord wants to make a deal with you today. Are you ready to make a deal? Because if you are ready to fulfill your part, you will be re ready to fulfill yours. No matter what your problem is, come and make a deal with God. Hannah made a deal with God. Hannah made a covenant with God. And God remember her. Hannah was barren. But God bless her. God bless her with a bouncy baby boy as she requested because she made a deal with God and she said if this morning I want you to say Lord if you if you you are still waiting for that baby Lord give me the baby if you are waiting for a job or no matter what your circumstances are and you are waiting for a solution Ask God, Lord, I want to make a deal with you. Like Anna, you have to go to that same passage and tend to do that. The same deal Hannah made with you. And you remember her. I want to make that deal with you too. So that you can remember me. So that you can wipe away my tears. So that you can open up the doors which were closed into my life. And so that you can bless me. And, and God bless Anna because she made a deal with God. So a year later, when they were going again to Shiloh to celebrate, God, she didn't go because she has a baby boy. And she couldn't go because the baby was still young. But she didn't forget a, a, a vow. So on verse 20 of 1 Samuel, wherefore it came to pass when the time was come about that she had conceived and she, that she bare, she bare a son and called his name Samuel, saying, because I have asked him to God. This is the meaning of the, of the name Samuel. Samuel means because I have asked him to God and he has blessed me, I name him Samuel. And that year she couldn't go. She spoke to her husband. She said, my husband, my beloved husband, you know that the baby is just born? Go this year, but I will go later. I will go later. I just want to wait until... I have win the baby. I she has win the baby before I go. He said, "Okay." He understood his wife. He, he understood her, and he said, "Okay, do as you wish." And when she win, she had win the baby. She took him up. Remember, she made a covenant with God. She made a covenant with God. She said, Lord, if you remember me, you give me a baby boy, I will bless, I will give him back to you. I will bless him. I will bless you by giving back to you. And she, did, she never forgot that. Sometimes we, as Christians, we forget. When we are in, in need, we go and cry to the Lord. You, we say, we make we make we make promises to the Lord. Lord, if if you bless me, I will do this or that for you. Lord, if you give me that job, if you give me the baby, if you give me this or that, I will bless you in return. And she she kept her promise because the Lord kept. Also, his promise. And she didn't go like 
empty-handed, she brought gift. Because when the Lord bless you, you have to bless him back with a special offering, with something which is which will touch his heart as a father to you. But and she she did that. The Bible said on verse 24, when she had weaned him, she took him up with her with three bullocks and one ephah of flour and a bottle of wine and brought him unto the house of the Lord in Shiloh. And the, ch the child was young. And she, she even reminded the, the, the priest, do you remember me? I am Anna, the woman who was weeping here bitterly. And you said the Lord should bless, will bless me. He has blessed me indeed. He gave me that baby boy I asked him. So today I'm coming back to give him back as I promised. And Anna, after talking to the to, to the to the to the man of God, they worship the Lord and she prayed. She prayed to the Lord in the temple. That same place where she went and she was weeping. She was crying. She was sorrowful. She was bitter. She God bless her. She started praising the Lord. And she said, there is no, no one only. This is on chapter 2, verse 2. I will start with verse 1. And Anna prayed and said, my heart rejoiced in the Lord. My horn is exalted in the Lord. My mouth is enlarged over my enemies because I rejoice in thy salvation. She was in joy. She was joyful. She was praising the Lord because she wanted to know, to, to know the joy of being a mother. She didn't care about, oh, losing the baby. People will say, you are stupid. You have been looking for a baby. Now you have a baby and you're giving him to the Lord. That's crazy. Are you out of your mind? She said, no. I made a vow before the Lord saying that if you visit me, if you bless me, if you change my situation, I, Hannah, will, will come back and give you what you have given to me. And she, that's what she, Hannah did. And she went to the temple and she brought that baby God is still God. He's still sitting on, the, on his throne. If today you are a barren woman, it doesn't matter what kind of life you have lived, which led you to that situation. Some women were born barren at birth. God is still God. He's sitting on his throne. He's a miracle-working God. He's... The God of who gave babies, good babies. The God who wiped away the tear of the barren woman. He did it for Hannah. He is still willing to do it for you today. If you listen to me and you are a barren woman and you believe in what God has done for Anna, go and do the same thing Anna did. Pray to God. Ask him. Make a make a covenant with him. Vow to him. If you give me, I didn't say give him back to the Lord, but make a vow with God and say something to him. Make a deal with God. Say, God, if you give me the baby I've been looking for, my husband is about to, to get married to another wife, another woman, because I am barren. His family is putting pressure on him. And I can have a baby. I can have a child, but I want a child. If you give it to me, I would like to do this or that to you. To you. And God will bless you. If you are sincere and if you live a true Christian life, he will visit you. Because 
He is a miracle working God. He is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And he is a covenant keeping God. If you, so today is your hour. It is not late for you who cannot conceive. If you still want to have a baby, to do the same thing Hannah did with God. Go. Go. I didn't say go to your pastor. I said go straight to God or to the priest because it's a deal between you and God. It is a deal between you and God. And after that, you can go. Make it between your prayer closet. Go before the Lord mm. and weep like Anna did. Open up your heart to him and he is willing to bless you to to bring joy into your, your marriage, in, into your household, to bring joy and happiness, unending happiness, because when God bless you, his blessing is not followed with sorrow, because the devil can also give you children, but those children, look, they are those bad kids today, we see, killing and doing bad stuff, but when God gives you a child, a, a child, he comes straight from heaven, and he's a child of blessing, but, so I encourage you today not to be sad, but to do good because some barren women are so bitter that they can't stand children. They are so wicked with them. But sometimes it is a test for you. When you treat good a child, God might review your situation. It doesn't matter if it comes from you or not. Be good. Be good. It is part of the commandment of God. Love thy neighbor as yourself. God wants you to love. And that child, that innocent child, is thy neighbor. So love him. But sometimes, because you are barren, you don't want to hear about children. When you see children, you are, you are upset. You hate them. It is not time for you to hate but to bring love, agape love in your heart, so that God will visit you. God will, will change your situation. God will, will bring joy into your household. God is the same today, tomorrow, and forever. He is the one who make the poor rich and bring the low and lift them up. He is the one who raise up the poor out of dust and lift them up from the dung. Lift, uh, uh, I'm sorry. He raise up the poor out of the dust and lift up, up the beggar from the dung hill to set them among the princes, to make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillar of the earth are the Lord's, and he has set the world upon them. He will keep the feet of his saint, and the wicked shall silent, shall be silent in the darkness, for by strength shall no man prevail. The adversary of the Lord shall be broken into pieces. Yes, the Lord is saying that today, your adversary, those who make fun of you because you are barren, will be broken, but they will see the glory of the Lord. They will see that your father, your God is a mighty God. Then we see that your God is a God of miracle. Then we see that He is a miracle working God. He is, he, he will see that, then we see that. So if today you are sad, I want you to wipe away your tears and to rejoice. To rejoice. Go eat. Don't be sad because you can't have children. Don't be sorrowful. Don't be bitter with your husband as it is Mother's Day. Go, take a good shower, put on your better, your best dress, and go out with your husband. Make him proud. And remember that the Lord will visit you. As he visited Anna, as he visited Anna, he will visit you because you are precious to him because you are a daughter of God and all of the women who are in Jesus are blessed 
And in the kingdom of the Lord, there is no barren woman. So I want to encourage you to wipe away your tear and wait upon the Lord and go to your closet like Anna did. And he will bless you. Amen. Be Amen. blessed and happy Mother Day to all of the women in the world. Happy Women Day. May the Lord bless you. Lord, I thank you for this message. I thank you and I bless you for this message. Thank you for blessing all of the women in the world today. Thank you for all of what you have done. You are doing for visiting those women who are sitting right there. I pray that you move mightily in their womb right now so that by next Mother Day, Father God, they will conceive and say because they listen to that message which lift them up and they applied your word in their life they are being blessed i thank you i bless you i lift up your name on high because of who you are you are our god you are our father you are our whole and whole and apart from you we are nothing to you be the glory the honor and the power in jesus mighty name i pray amen